to so light. I like you like so light. Hello, everybody. Hi. Are you ready? This episode thirteen, part two, part two of off 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 off. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. <laughs> no, part two be... should be the what? What song was she sing? Into, Into the, the unknown. Oh my goodness! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I really never watched part two yet, lah. I, I haven't never watched part one at all. I never watched the whole show at all. If y'all can see my face right now, you you have, you have kids, so you watch. I don't have kids. No, I didn't watch it before I had kids. It came out before I had kids. It was twenty twelve. So long ago, man. Mm-hmm. The sp- the first movie was out twenty twelve. Really. Yeah, okay, I remember I because my my niece was at that age where she started to repeat songs. Oh. And I, I was staying with my my boyfriend In-laws. then now ah. husband yeah right so mm. like you know, like you're constantly bombarded with that song. <laughs> I think you cannot. You oh, cannot run. Okay, I didn't know. I didn't know it was. Yeah, yeah. So she was okay. at around three four years old. So I still haven't had kids yet. Mm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. So anyway. <laughs> Episode thirteen is part two of when is it time to let go? Yeah. So mm. okay, <clears throat> our official introduction. Mm. This is your host Noel. Oh yes, and <laughs> Colleen here. We still we still for formality sake lah. Even though you already know our names lah. <laughs> yes, and our age and uh many yeah. more things. <laughs> yes, and I purposely did a twist. You see, even even Colleen caught off guard. <laughs> yeah, like now she was so staring at me, like into the camera, like what? 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 <laughs> I'm I'm usually the slower one, but I like yeah, to okay. give surprises. So yeah, I succeeded. <laughs> I wanted She's to speechless. Sing. She's speechless. <laughs> I don't know. I wanted to sing a song, but the only song that came to my mind was "Happy Birthday to You." <laughs> I like very bad, very bad, very very wrong, very out of control. Now I surprise her. You see her face now. <laughs> my face is not surprise. My face is what the, <laughs> like what the what the two. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, very excited to hear your story, lah. Like. I I wouldn't okay, okay, say okay. it's so, as... so so okay. Then my I officially <laughs> ask you. Okay, Colleen. Yes. What's your story about? When is it time to let go? Please share with us. I think it started like a few years ago. Like, uh, mm-hmm. I used to have this very close friend, um, but because we have some sort of long distance relationship, not until I like, become boyfriend girlfriend kind of thing. But it's because. She stay in another country, and mm. uh, we only get to see each other. I think once a year when she come back to Singapore. Oh, okay. Yeah, uh, my finances wasn't that robust enough for me to fly myself there, lah. Mm. So I haven't tried doing that. So, uh, like all this while, like since she, she. So called migrated there. Uh, mm. the relationship been been ongoing. You know, we will send each other letters. We will message That's each other. Nice. Yeah, yeah. It's always been an ongoing thing, and we always make sure that we update each other on what's going on in our life, and we will often like share stories and what not, right? But over the recent years, I guess it. As I change, you know, like not 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 that I change in a bad way, but like mm. I go through different phases I mean, humans, of life. As as humans, we we do have different phases, like we say, and then we will change into different yeah. people. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Like for Noel, is from like secondary school to tertiary poly, the kind of thing. Mm. For me, is like I've known her since almost the same time I know Noel. So you mm. know, like that's that transition from. Teenager to young adult, 
then to uh, attached to married and then finally I have my kids, right? Yep. So there's so many phases that I went through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but she's mostly staying in the young adult phase and like usually attached if not single and then you know there's a back and forth thing la. so mm. basically she's usually at that that phase it's not that i mind i i'm, I'm totally not somebody like like no i mentioned we are type two we usually think about the person more than we think about ourselves yes yes we normally do that we place yeah. others first and we are very accepting because to me right uh it's okay if you are still at that stage i still i still cherish you as a friend i still cherish your opinion i still cherish my time with you mm. uh it's just that she feels otherwise and then um she started to portray her fears on me that or oh, uh, mm. it must be so tiring to listen to my um babble about this young life matters when you have bigger more important uh, more emergency matters like your kids to handle as in she sort of blame herself yeah she sort that? of like distance herself, herself because she find that she's in a different stage of life and she mm. can't really resonate with me when i'm talking about the kids or mm. when i'm talking about a married life or when mm. i'm talking about having a relationship with my mother-in-law mm. Uh, and all that because you know you go through different problems stages and, uh, yeah stages, and stages. In, a, yes. in a lifetime and stuff and now yeah. you are sharing your life with another person yes. so there's a total sort of like situation that she's in yeah mm. so uh, I remember there was once um, like two years ago she did mention like is it very boring to you to hear my story and i'm i totally assured her true and true no no whatever that you go through is something that i i want to be part of i want to help you to yeah i want to be there for you because Mm. i am your friend and i Mm. really cherish this relationship and then she's like but this like small matter to you isn't it like you know my matter is so trivial and then you you know like a, a a a human being that you gave birth is such more like exaggerated la, you know you know like, like more she, bigger is it she she felt that your what you are having in life is is considered more factual more practical more realistic of life as compared to her problems her problems are very trivial as compared to yours ah. yeah is it is it she 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 was feeling that way like my problems are just relationship or or, or whatever uh, yeah work like stuff. some work but yours yeah. is like your mother already like then if your child has has uh felt ill or what that is that is then a very important thing but mine like i uh something happened at work someone gossip it, it's such a small thing is it mm. is it she felt that way yeah and then she also start to distance herself from friends around her Mm. And she told me this herself, and it's not it's not something that I I realize. It's something that she told me outright, right? Mm. That oh, I don't really want to hang out with this group of people because they are either attached or they are married. Then I'm okay. at the back of my mind. I'm like, oh, then are you indirectly hinting me? Mm. Yeah. So I have that. A little bit of assumption there, but of course I'm I'm not that thick face to to ask uh then what about me you know so it, it's really not not my type to go and think of that or to mm. retaliate. I I find that as a way of retaliating like mm. oh so you you find you find it stressful to go out with my type of people like mm. I'm a mom uh-huh. Uh-huh. I'm a married woman so you know i'm like uh-huh. fulfilling two ticks out of the whatever ticks you have right okay okay so there was that part that it started to put a crack in the relationship i would say like are you yeah okay. and and then after that there was a whole long period of silence from her uh 
it usually surrounds around things like oh um my messenger app got deleted or uh my phone not working for the past few months or um i did get any connection because i moved into my new house uh, there's a lot of reasons why i couldn't contact her mm. and <laughs> the funny thing that i always shared with noel is that um imagine this right like i am in a heated quarrel with my husband and then i just looking for someone to to be Seek there for me now. yeah and to you know sayang me and console me and like oh no you are not the one to blame i also understand how you feel so mm. i would type this long you needed, message you needed a shoulder to cry on virtually yeah, la. Mm. yeah no matter how right i mean mm. i've been used to you like being a long distance friend so to mm. me it's fine as long as you reply mm. but there was this period where i would text her about what's happening now and I will get a reply maybe two to three weeks later. Oh. And to me, it's, it's like the whole thing is already over. I've already, you know, reconciled with my husband. We already, like, you know, solved the issue. Mm, mm. And I already don't feel the whatever emotions I was feeling back then. Right? Okay. I mean, yeah, because it's really two or three weeks lah. Yeah, and then she, yeah. Her, her reply would be, oh, I'm so sorry, but what happened? And I'm like, I don't think I want uh, to talk about it anymore. <laughs> you yeah, know, like, I don't think I want to right? bring up that issue again to explain to you. So, tendency, I would just say, ah, uh, it's over, it's okay. Yeah, never, never mind, it's okay, you know? Yeah, but like, over, I don't want to talk about it. Does it happen often after that? Like this, this say, thing of like something happened, then the response would be two, three weeks later. In these past two years, yes. So, but do you it came feel, to a point. Mm. Yeah, I just feel very disconnected. Like, mm. I don't even know if my message went through. Mm. Yeah. Okay, yeah. And then I also, I also feel that if you cherish the relationship as much as I do, you will make it a point to keep the con connection life right mm, yeah that's true it takes so, two hands to clap ma. yeah it really and and i tell you babe like the the hurt that i feel is something similar to the hurt like you still don't understand me man that that, that part where you where you said that i was like, mm, ah yes i mean i said in the last episode yeah which is i i know i'm not a very high maintenance friend I'm not. Mm. I I don't need to see my friend every day, every week. Mm. You know, kind of thing. But and you're not those drama mama kind that will stir a lot of unnecessary emotions just to create just to scene. get attention. Mm. Yeah, you're not. You're not. Yeah, mm. and I I totally understand you are living your own life. I totally understand that you have your own career, time, schedule, your own, and all that. Mm. Yeah, yeah. I'm not somebody who will impose that you need to, like. At least reply me. <laughs> yeah, like, at least just a reply, but also not like two three weeks now. That one a bit. Yeah, a, a bit the constant la. question right in my brain right throughout this whole thing right, uh, it started around two years ago. Was that? Am I asking for a lot? I I don't think so. I don't think so. I mean, okay. Um, okay lah for me lah. For mm. me, because I, I like to, I like to reply. Uh, I I feel I feel obligated to give an answer lah. Yes, Normally yes. I'm like that. So <laughs> I, even if I cannot reply soon, I will just tell a person, okay, I'm busy right now. Can I can I reply you later? Uh, uh, or what you will do I is go, like uh, you continue message I, I will just go shower uh, yeah, like and I'll I read later do, uh, yeah, 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 what yeah. I will tell you right uh, yeah. to my other friends also I will, okay never mind you mm. want to you want to complain to me about something it's okay you type first okay I, I will read later uh, mm. I'm busy now I'll read later but I'll come mm. back to you uh, so that's my style la. I don't know about mm. others so, so normally maybe even if I'm really very busy that day next day or the following day I will reply la. I I would personally feel that if I needed comfort, right, giving me it, giving the comfort two three weeks later is is very overdue, lah. Yeah. Yeah. It's a so, very long stretch. Hmm. Correct. Mm. 
So I do I don't think you're asking too much. Is I guess different people have different bandwidth. Maybe to some people is I okay, now now that why don't you think of it on the contrary? Those people who love to create drama, right? <laughs> it will it will make them excited because oh you still remember my drama episode one hundred. Uh even though I'm on episode <laughs> Um, 105 already 5 episodes passed already Within the 2-3 weeks But you want to talk about episode 100 Okay come Let's complain about it I'm going to tell you I'm going to Reenact everything Let me dig out my, uh, my history So you will You will spur That kind of people on I, I don't know Right Now that you share this oh. Then I just think On the flip side For those people Who actually enjoys the kind <laughs> Maybe to them The 2-3 weeks They don't feel They don't feel That it's overdue It's like Oh like I'm very grateful that people actually remember it and then want to want to talk about it with it's them. It's like a bonus treat to them, lah. Ah, yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. dear. Oh, uh, like a I special think, edition. Yeah, I think, I think my mentality is very similar to yours. As mm. in, that's why we best friend the... for so yeah, long, yeah. <laughs> Like I'm constantly thinking, um, uh, what can I learn from this, and then mm. uh, how can I move on? Like, so mm. I don't. I don't really want to dwell in the drama. Mm. Uh, like for the fun of it. <laughs> I mm. find I, I find life is already very dramatic. Uh on a day to day basis. So, so uh, many people to do with, so many things. Uh, to uh, yeah, especially when you have two kids, you, you really don't have time to go and stir drama. <laughs> yes. Yes. My goodness. If you have time, kudos to you. Yeah. If you have yeah. time. And I mean the, the free time, the free mind to think of it. And to or maybe create. it could be something that really like lightens up the person's mm-hmm. day to to have attention. Then yeah, it's totally fine. You are you're normal. It's just oh, my mm. my perspective is mm. life is stressful enough. Yes. Traumatic, problematic enough. Yes. I don't need to add more and I don't yes. want to uh recall back previous trauma. Just so that I can continue my episode special edition. Episode end now. Episode end now. No need to watch again. Yeah, yeah. See, see. <laughs> this, this is how I, how I think about it. Yeah. So like, especially painful emotions, mm. I don't really want to relieve it again. Like if it's a joyous occasion, like you know, a birthday or like some achievement, like when the day I got my life coaching cert, like we all Woo-hoo. go out and celebrate. That's something I want to relieve, right? Like not. Not really, you know, the, the sad or the quarrel or, you know. Mm. Unless we are bringing it up to, to discuss, to like, like what me and Noah is doing now. Mm-hmm. To yeah, share correct. our experience, to, you know, give you uh, our after kind of Different kind of sadness and hurt. Lah. Mm. Not, yeah, not the normal day basis thing. But more like a very significant. See, I'm gonna use the word significant again. Again. <laughs> and then she's she 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 last week she pouted right. I was telling you she pouted right. This week she, her hand almost like want to punch me already. <laughs> no, well, and the significant one week passed already. You still talking about significant? <laughs> Can you find a battle? <laughs> you give me another week to find. I go to Soros. <laughs> Okay, okay, jokes aside. <laughs> I'm thinking of a few already, but that <laughs> Okay, you can share, you can share. <laughs> weighted, like weight, heavy weight. Like oh, weight, okay, okay. Uh-huh, yeah. uh-huh. Okay. Uh... <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, okay. I, I, it, it's, more, it's more negative words coming out. La, so like <laughs> okay, okay, never mind. When, like um... impactful. Mm, okay, impactful. Okay, impactful experience. is quite neutral. Mm, experience. Yeah, yeah. yeah impactful experience mm. or like <laughs> the dramatic keep coming up. <laughs> dramatic. <laughs> no la, this is not dramatic la. Yeah, it's not la. It's, yeah, I, I think, it's yeah. Dramatic. Okay, significant mm. is still a nicer word. Yeah, mm, but okay, I just yeah, find that have, it doesn't yeah. hold the punch. What is know? significant already? The word is significant no. already. No, it doesn't have that um to it like like it hurt me like you know <laughs> I, i'm just crying like a child now like <laughs> i'm the one being dramatic now <laughs> okay okay then noah is just chilling <laughs> noah is like uh mm-mm. yeah i'm waiting i'm waiting for her to go to the next line 
Okay. okay so okay. basically, um, this went back and forth for about two years, and okay. I mean, understandably, uh, on my end, I really understand because she just got into a new relationship, and finally, it's somebody who really treats her very well and take care of her, and I'm really very happy for her, mm. and. I myself have went through something similar before, which is when I take the whole pie chart of my time mm. and I give this to my significant other. Since you like <coughs> to work so much, right? <laughs> <coughs> okay. And I don't have the time for my friends or I choose to I choose to isolate myself from my friends so mm. that I can really take care of my significant other. I have done that mm. before. Mm. And I was really very sorry to my friends that time. Okay, okay. Yeah, because that, that time that relationship broke off and they were still there for me after the relationship Aww, broke off. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, so the, those people, you know, like really stopped me from committing suicide and stuff. Mm. So really very grateful for, to them. You know, mm. very blessed to have them as friends. Yeah. Uh, therefore, I'm trying to be the the bigger person here. Like you know, <laughs> in Chinese we say the, the you do you do see the the other side and to understand them. Mm. But at the same time, I also have needs, right? I mean, to me is. I need you as a friend to be yeah, there course, for me, of course, right? Of course, yes. Yeah, and I don't think I'm asking for much to have like maybe a reply, you know, even if it's the next day, right? Yeah, or um, can consider doing what I do, which is I'm busy now, Can I, I will come back to you later. Yeah, um, I, and, and not to cut off the connection totally, like, you know, sometimes mm. I try all different areas like, so different messengers I tried, SMS ah. I I tried. Yeah, so like I even use social media platforms to message her. Oh dear. It's not I never put in the effort, right? To me it's mm. like I've been the one who is constantly trying to connect. To reach out. Yeah. But you know, that person is never online. <laughs> yeah, never never switch on the PowerPoint. You all yeah. you are the one plugging in the, the socket. But then yeah. she never switch on the power point. Yeah, so there is So you plug in also no no electricity. <laughs> right? Because the main yeah. power source is not on. Yeah, I I, I I I tend to feel like maybe you know those people who constantly say, Let's get off the grid, let's get off the grid. Like I feel like maybe she's doing that. Wow. <laughs> But for so long, for so many years. Yeah, so I think I grew tired first and mm. I was very lonely and to me, you know, as as also because these past two years I started my business and, you know, I met a lot of new people and mm. uh, I started to feel that, hey, actually this person can be the next closest friend to me. Yeah, you can vibe well la, and mm. can connect. Mm. Yeah, like as if I've known this person for years and years before. Mm, but mm, mm. yeah, you know that kind of feeling like. Yes, correct. We've just met, yeah, but can, it seems can talk that. Non-stop. Mm. Yeah, it seems that you understand me and I understand you. So. Mm. And then it triggers this thought in me that, oh, am I thinking of replacing her? Like. Like, is this mm. fair to her? Like, you know, I'm still constantly Ayoh. thinking for her. Like, I'm like, why is she hurt by me choosing this person over her? You know, mm. that kind of thing. So, okay. yeah, there's some sort of unspoken... Uh, like, you were, you were placing yourself to each other. <laughs> in her shoes again, no? Yeah. Yeah, like what you said, we are very considerate and, and we will always try to put ourselves in other people's shoes. Yeah. Mm. So you were doing that, like trying to put yourself in her shoes. What if, what if Colleen is doing this, then how? Have yeah, a new friend, then, then what about me? Yeah, mm. and then like, what she, she didn't mean to disconnect and I choose to pull the plug. And maybe something happened 
I mean, you see, okay, so, so, uh, a bit of context is, okay, like, I also know this friend, uh, mm. I also know her personally, so, although I'm not that close to her, but what I've been trying to tell Colleen is that maybe something happened. I mean, especially COVID, right? It's really very yeah, difficult. Like something happened and, and so sometimes it's very difficult to, if when things just continuously happen and then you suddenly you just, oh my goodness, how, how am I going to start the story? How am I going to update you or what? So uh, maybe her choice is to just MIA, I guess. Like, maybe she just wants to avoid. Maybe it's, it's her way of avoiding things. Mm. Let's just say that something really happened. Lah. I don't know. Lah, because, yeah, she also yeah, never replied and, me. And, 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 <laughs> I mean, that, 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 that is the thing, you see. Mm, like, like we, we, are, we are hanging here in Singapore. We don't know what's happening, right? Yeah, because it's a different country. You can't, like, walk up to her door and they're like, hey, are you there? Mm, correct, <laughs> like, correct. You know, like, I, I cannot, like, go to the well house, like, hey, are you there? Are you okay? You know, mm. or ask her relative or, you know, mm. all sorts of questions. And yeah. Yeah, sadly, I don't have any other contacts as well. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, me too. I me mean, too. We, we've been very, um, like, close dated to the sense that, oh, it's okay, I, I, if you've got anything, you will tell me, I will tell you. Like, mm. that was our relationship before like to give you all some context yeah. and uh, like even her deepest struggles she would come to me and ask me for advice and uh, same I, I also ask her like similar things like and then we always encourage each other and we will always be there for each other but for these past two years I've heard nothing and when Noel was talking about closure, right? I I have no closure. I don't even know how to close. I cannot even connect how Ayoh, to close. Oh, now Kelly's turn <laughs> already. Oh my goodness. Now yeah. her turn to be teary. You I, see, I, I told I, you already, this, this episode is really <laughs> episode 12 and 13, part 1, part 2. Or maybe we should call it episode 12, part 1 and episode 12, part 2. Never mind, we, we shall decide later. Yeah, we shall decide but later. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, but okay. basically, my my thinking is that what is the difficult point mm. that is making this connection unstable or lose mm. connection? Mm. Like, at least give me uh, give you a sign. Give me a sign. Give me a signal. You know mm. that you want to end things like. When I think back on all the previous conversation and sometimes I look through the conversation on the phone, I'm I'm trying to find the root cause. Like what Noel is doing, we're really trying to move on. Like we're trying mm. to what can I learn from this? What is the mm. thing that I missed out? Like was I not alert when she said certain things that hurt mm. her or you know kind of thing. So mm. I'm doing that and so as I was looking through her messages, I I think about like could it be that message when she started to hint that she don't really want to be close to people who are on a different phase in life? Is it because I don't know like is it because like she finds that she's unable to have a common topic so she would rather avoid this like maybe she feels a gap. Like I, I cannot I cannot put myself into your shoes as a married woman and as a mother because I'm definitely not. So I don't know how to communicate with you, so I distance myself from you all. I don't know like mm. is it is it she feels that way? Like, uh, okay. like because uh, I don't know what else to talk to you about. Because we are in different chapters of our lives, different stages in our life. So I don't I know how. Uh, I I mean, I, I'm just randomly thinking. La. Mm, I mean, to think back, I think she did mention about uh, how the other friends who are mothers or attached, like how they acted in front of her. Mm. Like, maybe like in a group setting, they have like common topics to talk about and you know, there's always a back and forth. Maybe and she felt she left feel out. She left out, yeah. Mm. So maybe that could be the source. I 
I'm not so sure, but I've never, you know, treated her otherwise just because she's not married. I've never said things like, mm. oh, you're not married, so you don't understand. No, I've never yeah, said yeah, that. Yeah. Because and I believe you because you're not that kind of person. Yeah, I'm not yeah. those who are, like put you aside just because you're in a different Because stage. we are type 2, right? We will try to accommodate <laughs> to people, not people accommodate to us. <laughs> yeah, to me, like, I've, I've done my best. I really mm. feel that I've done my best. And yes. I was telling Noel at the beginning of the year, I really want to do a closure, but <laughs> now the thing is, even if I send the message out, right, when it gets sent, <laughs> Wait, I, was trying, I was trying. I was, I was thinking of trying one more time. Yeah, the one is the one who told me not to do it, to give her one more chance, and give yeah, her a lot but, more chance. Yeah, you see, that's the thing about us, right? Sometimes we we like, maybe maybe that's not the last straw. Still have one more straw. <sighs> then when the last straw comes, then we like, maybe got one more straw. Yeah, we are always like that. And then, when will the last straw be? Right? Yeah. I was telling her, like, it's been over a year since I've... More than a year since I've gotten a reply. It's been a long day without you, my friend. Ah. Uh, <sighs> that is a different context. <laughs> uh, yeah. But I, I, I do I do like agree with you that sometimes mm. when we think we want to have the closure from the other person mm. the best is to do the closure within ourselves and to make peace with it. Mm. Yeah. yeah. I although yeah, I used to be very close to her, this this very friend of ours. Just mm-hmm. that, yeah, la, over time, um, Colleen got closer with her. So, um, these few years, I've also been trying to be like the middle man. <laughs> helping Don't Colleen. Don't be saying because all I the see, nicest things. <laughs> yes, because, because I mean, I know, I know both Colleen and, and this girl, this friend of ours. So, and okay, la, I, I know her longer than Colleen knows her, la. I know yeah. her first, yeah. So, mm. so that's what I was trying to base on the kind of person that I know her, mm. and and to comfort Colleen. <laughs> I don't know. I I mean, I like, just hope Noah that Noah has been the the nicest angel for her, like ding throughout ding. this whole period. Like she's constantly like, oh, maybe you know, uh, maybe something happened at home. Uh, maybe she's. Her phone spoil, or maybe uh, no, 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 you know, I'm helping her find excuses. Like I've already thought of all these excuses. Before. I know, I know, and yes, yes, that's what Colleen will always reply me. And okay, sorry to say, but technology is only going to advance; it's not going to reverse, right? So, is in, in this age, it's a bit difficult to say that. Oh, I don't have WhatsApp, I don't have Telegram, I don't have this, I don't have that. It's a bit yeah. difficult, <laughs> nah. Unless okay, sorry. Even some rural areas also, they have mobile phones and they can actually use the what Facebook Messenger, all these things. Yeah, yeah so precisely it's a bit, my point. It's a yeah. bit doubtful. But again, that's why I wanted to comfort Colleen. La. That's my priority. La. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I really appreciate you though. Because you yeah. see, uh, I, I started to blame myself earlier on. That. Ah, you see, this is us, right? Every time we, <laughs> uh, we, we covered, we covered this in one of the episodes, right? We always blame ourselves first. Yeah. That. Oh, is it because I didn't message her much enough, or mm. every time I message her is about some problem, right? So I, I wonder if that's the case. Um, and then but the, I'm sure you also share joy, what? Like, I'm sure other than. Let's just say bad things happen. Mm. I'm sure you also share good things with her. Yeah. So it's, it's not that it's not like you are this irritating and boring and negative friend who only will look for me when you have negative things or you have complaints that you look for me. You're not that kind of friend, what? You good thing, bad thing also you will share. What? 
Yeah, and you know, every year during her birthday, I always message her. And I remember there was one year I bought a few stuff because she was moving into a new house. So I sent it over. Wow. <laughs> I deliver it with UPS to her house. Oh. Yeah, so you, you see, the, the things to me is, these are just my way of sh- like showing that I care as a mm. friend. Mm. I'm not expecting you to do the same thing for me, no. I don't need you to. Yeah. But my my basic but can you, actually is can you see our effort, right? <laughs> right, am I right to say that? Yeah, yeah. Like my 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 basic requirement is just you reply me. <laughs> yeah. Which is when I start to feel that oh okay, <laughs> this is not really a very fair relationship. Mm. already and Mm. um like they always say a friend in need is a friend indeed right Mm. but now this friend in need not there so i have to i have to move on on my own and i have to go and um close this chapter like Mm. although we had very good times really i have the best memories when i was with her and there's a lot of good things that we share with each other. Mm. Um, yeah, and just uh, move on without <laughs> without having her in my life. And then sometimes <laughs> when we meet our <laughs> other friends, our other common friends, they will mm. ask me about her and I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> 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 I really don't know because usually they'll be like, oh, Colleen is the one closest to her. So Colleen definitely know what's going on in her life. Mm. I'm like, I don't know, she don't even reply me, so <laughs> And Noel will be like, okay, okay, chill, chill, chill. Yes, because <laughs> she I know, know the... I'm going into a into a frantic mode. <laughs> and I know the background story, so that's why. <laughs> She's like, okay, chill, chill. Let's yeah. change topic. Let's change topic. <laughs> so so the girls who are in our group, if you are listening to this, now you know why lah, huh? Now you know why Colleen replies that way and and why I react that way. <laughs> <laughs> I think we did explain to her them once, right? I think. I think so. I think so. I think we yeah, did. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. And we are all very nice and understanding people. I really realized that our group, we are all very nice and understanding Actually, people. Actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. We are, we are. They all came up with different excuses for her. Yeah, you see, we are trying to comfort <laughs> Colleen. <laughs> and then I'm the one that, no, no, this is not fair. This is not fair. Ignoring me for two years, no. <laughs> Even though we know it, but we're trying to cushion it. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? I really appreciate you girls. I really feel, like, blessed. I mean, like, although I have to forcefully close this part, but I'm still blessed to have you, to have them. Yeah, of course. Yeah. But I mean, what would the... Do you have any tools that you that you use to assist yourself? Like how will you how will you um, elaborate on your your letting go? Yeah, I think that time when I told you I wanted to send a message, right? Mm. Mm. I first typed it out in a a notes on my mm. phone. Mm. Yeah, because I intend to copy and paste. Lah. Yeah, yeah, it's easier that yeah. way. Yeah, it's easier to edit and stuff like that. Yes. Correct. As compared to that small little text box. Yes. Right. So, mm. I think by writing out my feelings and my feelings of injustice and like, I'm not getting anything out of this relationship and I find that you are being very avoidant or um, distant to me, mm. that part. Mm. Like, mm. me writing my feelings out, actually did give me a, a a big relief. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. Even That's though cool. I didn't send it out, like, mm. you know, like, so you who knows? So become a journal. La. Yeah, it's some sort of like, uh. like you are talking to the person as if the person is right in front of you. Mm. And then you are pouring all your, your feelings out and I'm also like justifying why I'm feeling this way. <laughs> mm. Like, because to me, it's, I don't want you to misunderstand that mm. I did this on an impulse. I want you to understand that I've tolerated 
Mm. I had, I waited patiently. Mm. I've been there for you when you needed me, but mm. uh, when I needed you, you are not there. And it's not once, it's not twice, it's many times over the mm. years. And I find that it's about time that we, you know, put an end to this relationship and so that move both of us can now. move on. And mm-hmm. like my main, my main point is to stop wasting time. At which, at which point do you feel that it's a waste of time? Would you be able to identify that? I think. Or I is it like, last, like a self realization? The last I heard from her was, like really two years back, like two two, yeah, around one and a half to two years back. During COVID, uh, it was... It yeah, was I think... COVID yeah, I mean, I already? also was... Yeah, COVID happened already. Okay. Yeah, so there was that lockdown and stuff. So I mm. think I did message like, are you okay? Is everything fine on that side? Mm. I got a few replies and that's it. Like, mm. you know... Uh, okay. The usual. Like, mm. oh, uh, my messenger got deleted. My what, 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 you know? Mm. And then that's it. Like there is no like update. How's the family? How's mm. everyone? You know, nothing. Mm. Okay. And yeah. So I I think that part onwards, I was like, oh, okay, you are busy. Like okay, I let you be. Mm. And then half year later, when I message again during her birthday, no reply. Like, oh. you know, when you send a message, no matter what messenger you use, usually okay. there's the, the delivered, like, ah, some ah, sort the of, status, like, ah, status, the status, ah, ah, yeah. right? Yes. Nothing. <laughs> like, I only have one tick. <laughs> oh, so that means what? Uninstalled? That means I, on I, her I hand, I really don't know, like, I really don't know. I, I, I feel that, okay, I mean, I understand that, you know, you, you are not somebody who is on the, Phone all the time. Mm. But then how you communicate with your other people? Yeah, especially... Okay, like, don't talk about friends. Uh. At workplace, it's quite common to have like a WhatsApp group. Because yeah. of department, like like sometimes your HOD needs to announce something. Yeah. Then through text. Yeah. yeah. And during COVID, that's very important to me. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially during COVID. Because all the changing policies and stuff, you need to be yeah. updated to the... The Sometimes, newest, yeah. Other yeah. than other than through email, of course, official announcements in terms of work wise, now nah, would be through email from your HR department or something. But yeah, I would say the more emergency, the the more like informative things would be like ad hoc information would be through WhatsApp. Yeah, through WhatsApp, oh, I don't know some some. I'm sure there is lah, right? Some. Like Some sort of messenger or telegram, uh, or whichever app you use in your country. <laughs> yes, yes. You know, right? Correct. I mean, yeah. like, yeah. So, I tried SMS also. It didn't go through. So mm. I'm not so sure. Is it change number? Mm. So really, I'm out of options already. So I that know. was the time where I start to realize that, hey, she hasn't been there for me for the past few times. Mm. And then, uh. At the same time, I'm not getting a reply. It's not that I started to think about wasting time. I'm, I'm the the thing that I keep holding on is that hope. Hmm. Yeah. I think I think you had that. And, yeah. And it's a very type two thing, right? Yeah. The hope that you were hui tou zhuan yi. Really, like we are yes. using back the same words again. Like yes, the you one know, hui, like the you one will, hui. You'll come back. You'll come back. You know. Yeah. One hui. Yeah. Last week, yeah. I used one hui, yeah. Yeah, so it's like, to make I you stay. keep holding on to yeah. that hope that yes. she will reply, she will receive, mm. uh, she will give me a heads up. Mm. And the thing about holding on to that hope, it's, it, it keeps me very lonely. Because you feel like you are, it's a one-sided thing and you're yeah. just... You're just having hopes all by yourself. Mm. Yeah. yeah, like, uh, how, how do I explain? It's more of like, there's some sort of unspoken rule that, oh, okay, if you're my close friend, you're, you're my number one close friend, 
then mm. you will forever stay there. Mm. Like, I will not replace you with anybody. Mm. I don't know, did we promise that in very school or whatsoever? I can't remember. But okay. there seems to be some sort of connotation of that. And therefore, I keep holding on to that hope that one day you'll come back. Mm. But it didn't happen. So I also need a friend <laughs> right, mm. to be in that spot. For yes. me, and I, yes. like I mentioned, I met a lot of friends who, like on the business end, we really click very well. Mm. We were there for each other, and you know, we cry with each other, like the pains. Mm. Mm. Uh, so yeah, I I do feel that it's time for me to let go. Mm. And yeah, I couldn't let go because I couldn't get my message across. <laughs> Of the hope you have, and then mm. plus, so so the the. You see, ah, uh, the. Uh, what I feel, uh, what in your mind is that you're juggling between having the hope and also, you know that is, is a no go. There's no response, no no answer. Yeah, it's just invisible. Yeah, mm-hmm. but yet yeah, you're struggling with yourself. It must be very difficult on you. Oh my goodness, I feel yes. so happy for you. So I think the the part that that was like me and Noel when we got closer together over the past one year plus was like really right on time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like, yes, yes. Yeah, I was complaining to her about this. This friend of ours and she was really, really, really being the nicest person on earth, right? <laughs> like, because I yeah. wanted to comfort you, ah. Uh. Yeah, I know, but like I've already gone over the comfort. Like I, I don't need any more comfort. I like I need a decision answers. right now. Uh, yeah, really I need, need an answer, answer yeah. right now. I need mm. a closure right now. I need to mm. either we continue this and you give me your promise, you will reply me, or we end it. Like, mm. stop wasting each other's time. Yes. Yeah. So I think over the years, I also mature, like, to think about other things that could have happened. Uh, mm. I mean, she's totally in another country, so I totally don't know what's going on with the family. Yeah. How would, how would the, how would the yes or no ending be critical? Mm. How think, how does it how how does it become something critical to you? Like yes, we are still friends. No, we call it quits. Yeah, what I think it comes it you, back to the mm. connotation that only one person can stay in that spot mm. of the number one close friend of the best friend status in my heart. But I didn't, I, you know, you know, my, my mindset hand, was quite fixed. Is, yeah. yeah, but on the other hand, it's, it's also like we have different stages in life, then we'll meet different people. Sometimes yeah. it will just change or sometimes. I mean, not everyone is as lucky as, I would say I'm very lucky to have my my mm-hmm. first friend who is still with me and even until now, mm-hmm. still so faithful and loyal to me. The one that I was crying in the previous episode about. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. So. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry. You were talking about your. Your, your, your. Why is it so yeah, critical? Yeah, I guess. I guess, like, after getting. Like, understanding you a bit more. And getting closer to you. And then when you mention, like. You have this best friend. And then you have another best friend. And then you have another best friend. And I'm like. Mm. Why can't I do that too? Like, you know, to me, like, why do I mm. fix myself mm. with one best friend for life mm. and, like, hold on to it? Like, like, even though the person already disconnected, I'm still trying to connect. Are you? Yeah. I mean, the day that I realized that, hey, actually, I can have multiple best friends, I tell you, the stone on my chest was lifted. Lifted. I see. I you said lifted together, you, unplanned. You. <laughs> Did y'all get goosebumps? <laughs> <laughs> but I think it's a common sentence, right? Mm. It's 
stone on my chest got lifted. But we said at the same timing, eh? Okay, right. okay, okay. I'm trying yes. to, to do something nice for you. Why you like this? Yeah, that's why we best friend, ma. <laughs> like that day when she was going home and from my house. <laughs> yes, why? <laughs> I was about to message her like you know oh, yeah, I have yeah, yeah, that yeah. rough gauge like oh it takes around how how how, how long, long to for her to get mm. home from my house, and just mm. nice when I was messaging her she was about to message me, I'm home and I'm like yeah telepathy yes correct. <laughs> I tend to have that I mean it's it just shows that we're very close no I I feel like we when mm. two two people are just very close then it just click very well, then. Mm. Whatever that you want to say or whatever that you think is almost alike. We mm. are connected even though without Wi Fi connection. Mm. I guess, as okay, la, now that we both share our stories about our friendships, right? <laughs> people, it, that's what is cliche, la, but people really come and go. La. And I, uh... the, the, actually, there's, there's one good friend of mine who actually told me this. Okay, I never ever think of of it. Lah. She she actually told me that she has a friend in her in her uni mm. who who treated her as her BFF. But she didn't realize it. She didn't realize this other girl uh treat her as the BFF. Uh, uh-huh. to her it's okay lah, like like okay um we're not say very close, very close, but like okay la, I can can chat quite a few things, can meet up for coffee and and dinner that kind of thing. It was until when, <laughs> it's gonna sound very funny, but it was until when things got a bit serious, <laughs> as though they were in a relationship, right? They're not, they're yeah. not, they're they're they're, they're, they're friends. Then that girl was like, "Yeah, you because you're my BFF," and then she was shocked. Eh. my friend was shocked. <laughs> eh. Like, yeah, in her heart she was like Huh, oh, we are when? in a BFF Since status when? And and sad to say I mean of course she never say it out But sad to say in her heart it's like To me you are not my BFF leh. Oh dear yeah, so, Correct yeah, when, she was, when she was sharing with me this This case <gasps> right, I was like I also was shocked I was like huh? then, then she said Yeah not Not every friendship is a two way thing you can, mm. like for her, she treat me as her best friend because maybe in her social life, mm. I'm the one that she feels the most connected with, connected mm-hmm. to. Mm-hmm. But in my case, in my social life, I connect to someone else much better than I have with her. So she mm. is not my BFF. My BFF is someone else, actually. Yeah, so, yeah then you so like, like, left, right, left, <gasps> right. <you're>... Yeah, <laughs> I was like, huh? Got such thing? Like, yeah, I, I was, I mean, it, it didn't occur to me. I always think that, like, maybe because, again, I'm very blessed. Like, my, who are my close best friends, right? I am also for them, lah. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, so, I never, ever felt that way, lah. Like, how it can be possible that it's one way, uh, it's one-sided only, yeah. Yeah, then she was the one who enlightened me, said that, she, that's why she gave the example, just now, which I wow. just shared, which is her own so- social circle. She she has met someone who she can connect with so much better. So that is mm. then to her, the BFF. And her BFF also feel the same about her. But whereas mm. this girl, she, she has very few... Uh, the, the one-sided friend, sorry to say this, but the, the, she... She, like, treat her as her world, eh. <laughs> I'm cringing eh. I'm really yeah. cringing eh. I, so, I mean I totally get it Yeah That it might not be A mutual uh, Like Like what me and Noel Have like The telepathy And all that mm, It might not be A mutual not thing Not every Relationship Friendship Is mutual lah like yeah, mutual understanding but, but that uh, just to disclaimer BFF, uh. Yeah But just a disclaimer My relationship With this Particular person, right? Was already said at the beginning. We are each other's BFF. Mm, ah, we yeah, did yeah, have yeah, that, yeah. So we yeah. did have the consensus. It's not it's one just, way. It's, it's not it's I just, one way. Yeah. <laughs> I can think of one song. It's a Korean song. <laughs> oh, really? Take it one way, one way, 
One way, one way, one way ticket. <laughs> okay, whatever Korean songs, I I will I will let bog you in. Catch no ball. Catch no ball. <laughs> yeah, that's English. That's English. Catch no ball means you means, don't get uh, it. Don't yeah, get I it. Yeah, don't get the joke. Yeah, I don't mm. get it. <laughs> but okay, anyway. But yeah, yeah so I I I just, find that the it's just bus. Time, la. Yeah, the bus analogy describes this. Hmm. I think I I said it before. Like mm, yes, you can share with our listeners. The driver is you. Yeah, the bus driver. Yeah. And then you are driving from a destination to another destination, right? Yep. And then on that journey, there are people who bought the bus mm. and stay on the bus, and there are people who alight from the bus at different stops in your life. Mm. So. Yes. Maybe for my bus, she decided to alight without informing me. <laughs> like maybe she, she jumped she, out of the window. In, in Singapore, we use the EasyLink card, right? In Singapore, we use EasyLink card. She yes. decided to to skip tapping the EasyLink card and tap out and then she just yeah, jumped out of the window. Or maybe she just follow people behind them <laughs> and act like, eh, hey, I'm not here to begin with. <laughs> Don't look for me. I don't think she... She have that la. The, the, no la, no la. I'm, I'm not here joking, to be there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But it just mysteriously disappear. Yes. From the bus. Yes. That's what <laughs> she she did very unsuccessfully actually because if she did so we would <laughs> we won't be talking about this. Yeah, I mean like <laughs> At least tap your card. <laughs> yeah, at least you tap your card, then we know, right? Okay, as it. press the bell that you are mm. going to alight so that yes. I know when to stop. Yes. To let you get down safely. Mm. And don't hurt my feelings. <laughs> yeah. That's true, actually. Sometimes. But then. I mean, like, okay, if mm. you use this analogy, I think of something very funny. <laughs> yes, yes. Because I say you are the bus driver, right? So the mm. bus is your property, right? Uh huh. So imagine her way of alighting the bus because to avoid tapping out, to avoid informing me, she had to break the glass window to jump out. Uh huh. So <laughs> you hurt me. You break my. You break my glass, and then you jump out. <laughs> King Kleong. <laughs> like so and so has left the game. <laughs> you know, like, it... <laughs> why, 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 why <laughs> my name come out again? <laughs> okay, so basically, my Chinese name sounds a lot like the glass cracking, like what Noah is saying now. King Kleong. Let me okay, go near but... to the mic. King Kleong. Oh dear. So anytime you got something got to do with glass breaking, ah, uh, like. What well, well, we call it? Chess, chess, yes. or glass together. Yeah, she will have to <laughs> reenact this song. Yeah, I'm giving her. So I've been her... disturbing her since primary school. Yeah, every time you know, like, and I don't know why. <laughs> when I'm out with Noel, I tend to be very clumsy. <laughs> Actually, I have a few friends like that. Eh? I don't know why they they will suddenly become very clumsy. Then I say that I. I don't normally behave this way, but whenever you're around, I don't know why I, I will drop things or I'll trip over my words. <laughs> yeah, and she'll she'll tell me things like, "Oh, oh, you gonna you gonna resound your name in another form." And I'm like, "No, no, 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 no." <laughs> Meaning, I'm gonna drop the glass, or I'm gonna break something, or I'm gonna bang into something. You know, I'm gonna trip over something like her friend. Really, really, it only happens in front of her. I'm totally fine when I'm at home, like you know. Oh, uh, with with others. With others, you know, I walk around yes. normal, unscattered, <laughs> unscarred, <laughs> not breaking things usually. Because but I, I created don't know the why. name for you, ah. Uh. Yeah, I don't know why yeah. in front of Noel things tend to fall off the table, and there was or once, like there was one. Dropped. Oh, no, there dropped. was once I really dropped a cup and then she she really Oh yes, at your house. She never house. let go. Oh MG. That was that was one of my favorite cups, you know. Yeah. 
it was a cup that you know I, I I had during my previous job, so it had my name label on it. So、mm. I was trying to bring the cup into the kitchen to wash. Yes, but you move but, your arms too fast, then you knock the the wall. Ah,、uh, not onto that 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 cupboard lah. Yeah. The cupboard correct segment. So because as of, usual, you walk first, but her her arm haven't. Haven't come off. Go according to the same speed as her, so the the cup was behind the cabinet, and then she already shift, but her arm haven't moved away from the cabinet, and it went towards the cabinet and King Clear. Yeah, and then I dropped the cup. Yes. <sighs> yes. And、uh, Noel's wish came true. <laughs> hey, that's not my wish. <laughs> <laughs> to hear King Clear in front of me. <laughs> I mean, you, the 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 girls who are in same primary school as us, you know, you yeah, our gang. Yes. So then they get this joke and be laughing all over the place. Yes. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um. Okay. Back to the topic. <laughs> We've been distracted、yes. so, so far. Yes. I think for me, my closure was much easier than. What no one has to do. I'm、mm? I'm quite blessed to have that because、oh, maybe okay, it's just、okay. one person and maybe it was a gradual thing. It was like you know, like you you slowly build up the mm. anticipation mm. that this is going to end. This is going to end. Um, there's subtle signs and then you know, like there's constantly some places where I'm like, oh, okay, is this. Is this going to happen? You know that kind of thing, and not like one shot, like you know, throw you in the deep sea kind、mm. of scenario. Yes. So I did prepare my myself for it, my heart for it, and、mm. uh, over these past two years, I've also shared with my husband what's going on, and yeah, he's he's really not a nicer person than no. <laughs>、uh, he was very uh he was very strict to the point. Then anyway, her there's nothing. Like if she can't be there for you, then she's not a friend. Like he's very、mm. straight to the point. He's、mm. he, maybe he he has been burned too many times that he's like, I'm no longer nice person. <laughs> oh, okay. Or maybe she feel for he feel for me that I don't want my wife to be hurt. Ah,、uh, yeah, most probably.、Uh, yes. And she he could see that I'm always the nicer person, and he always feel that I I'm being bullied by others. In what the commas, so he he want to get straight to the point and settle the the problem like two years.、Mm. Yeah, just end it. Just, yeah, just just end it and then end the the end the hope and the anticipation、yeah. and the hesitation.、Mm. Like why are you still trying to connect to a to, to someone a, who is not even there? Is offline. Ah, probably uninstall already. Yeah, you see now we use technical <laughs> terms. You already uninstall the program already, maybe. Yeah, so you know, like all sorts of connection can be like、mm. linked. So no point. Yeah, like his his understanding is she made it very clear to you that she don't want to connect anymore. Then why you still want to force with? But you see, because we are type two, ah,、uh, we always feel that there's some hope left. Yeah, and then we always think of the best of the person, like, like maybe,、mm. maybe, like you know, maybe, maybe, and、like, continue find. Like, so I'm also very conflicted. On、mm. one end, I want to move on. I want、mm. to bring in new best friends into my life.、Yes. On another end, I also feel that well, it's not fair if she don't get to know what I'm trying to do. Like, I'm moving on. I I need you to to know that. I'm ending this relationship, but I cannot do that because I cannot connect. <laughs> okay, what if I don't know? I just suddenly think of it.、Mm. Remember, you were saying that you already typed that very long essay. Oh, I deleted it. Oh, okay. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Or maybe you can type again. Then, you, then you just send it to whichever platform. You treat it as. You treat it as you post a very old school snail mail. You treat it that way. That you post it. This is what I want to express. Then full stop. The end. I don't know. Would would that would that be helpful? 
Like, I think just, you're the one who was against it, right, in the first place. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe that time was still. Don't don't go in. Don't go in. Maybe the type nine in me is. I had to just avoid first. Oh. Maybe yeah. Don't like, do don't anything. Do, don't be too impulsive. Mm, don't do anything first or what? Yeah, I think you meant well. So like, yeah. Maybe she will reply and all that. Why not try mm. again? Yeah, I yeah. guess maybe like maybe I could still no... dig out her house address and really write her a snail mail. <laughs> mm, or you or I I don't know. You can just use whichever social network platform. Then, I mean, obviously you know she's not going to see. Then you just treat it as that. Or you just you just write whatever. Be it she eventually read or not. Why don't take it as your whatever things you want to say to her? Mm. At last. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. I think that Maybe? would help finally remove that small glimmer of hope in me. Yeah. Maybe that's that's the closure. I don't know. I just thinking out loud la. Like the closure that you can have. Mm. Because I, I really I really see the power in writing. Yeah, so, <laughs> yeah, as you can hear through many episodes, yeah, I always say just write and out your feelings. Yes, so just, yeah, for me it works lah. Yeah, and, yeah, And it like I shared in my previous, uh, in the previous episode, the part one, yeah. You can consider. And mm. in the meantime, if I think of any other solutions or platforms, I will share with you. <laughs> <laughs> I think yeah. So so basically, not 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 to dampen the mood any further. I I mm. find that no lah. It's not uh, dampening lah. It's we're we're really sharing our true life experiences mm. and stories. Yeah, which is and, which is the the purpose of the podcast as well. Mm, mm. To be very real and yes. authentic and mm. yeah, Down to the to point earth. where we are crying. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we've been laughing so much over the past few episodes. Then this episode, I mean this part one, part two, wow, I really didn't expect us to cry. Yeah, we were just talking about it in pre-meeting and then we were like thinking, hey, we didn't really have much uh, other inspiration and then suddenly this inspiration came. And then yeah, it's always like this. When we start chatting, uh, we can chat, chat, chat for, for like maybe one hour or so. Then suddenly we, we will think, hey, actually this can be a topic. Okay, let's hit it right now. <laughs> yeah, and then we just hit and go. So we weren't expecting ourselves to cry. Yes. Or to be like really, you know, so vulnerable and so mm. like open. Like mm. really, like we we just sharing our experience and our feelings. Like we mm. we hope that our listeners, if you are going through a tough time like us, thinking about whether you should let it go, thinking about um giving the person another chance, or like how do you do a closure on your own? <laughs> mm. Like what both of mm. us experience, yep. you know, you have some extra tools. And someone else who have experienced it also, so you are not alone mm. to you know share the the feelings with you to share hopefully relieve you a little bit of the pain mm. and, yes. and the hurt definitely yeah like just reduce a little bit of the impact on yourself and mm. like really it takes a lot of courage to. To tell yourself that you will be there for yourself and you don't need another person to be there for you. Mm. Yeah, it really takes a lot of courage. And I don't say it lightly, especially to our younger listeners, because it's at that age where we really need to depend on others mm. to to reciprocate that that type of friend, friend be there for each other kind of feeling. Mm. Yes. But um as you grow older you realize that you are totally fine on your own. Mm. Even for a while. Like even for like maybe a half a year to a year until you find new people. Yes. Who you suddenly realize I've just met you but I seem to know you so well. Like yes, you seem to correct. click Can so click. well. Mm. Yeah and 
and really my belief is there's always that person for you so mm. don't worry you'll always be blessed with a new person that comes into your life yes yes yeah that is so true yeah even though they broke your window of your bus and jumped mm. out uh mm. never mind there's more entry point for new people to come in yes <laughs> And like, that, you know. that, the window, the window that was broken, mm. you can always slowly patch it back. Okay, mm. that's 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 another important point. So other mm. than letting other people board the bus, yeah, that broken glass, you can patch it back slowly. Maybe you can replace the window. It's okay, right? And if you need, like I said, my experience was like more than ten years. If you need more time, yeah. It's okay. It's really okay because it's your own personal journey. It's your own growth, right? So, whatever it is, is as long as you're comfortable, as mm-hmm. long as you are fair towards yourself, that's mm-hmm. more important, and and mm-hmm. your self healing. Mm. Mm. Yeah. So be there for yourself, and mm. also have a lot, a lot of compassion for yourself, mm. and. I just want to say that all these experiences, you know, like what Noel say, like everything mm. happens for a reason. And my understanding of it is, um, when we have all these experiences, it also give us a hint, like let us understand ourselves a bit better. Like, mm. oh, after this, I realize I'm not a very high maintenance friend, but mm. I require at least. Maybe a one to two months meet up or mm. phone call or some sort of, you know, deep deep talk for a few hours. Mm. Uh, that kind of thing. So like yeah. it, it made you be more aware of all these different needs that you have. Yes. You'll be clear minded, I would say. Mm. And then when you seek the new person mm. or when you meet someone who meet all these criteria. Mm, then you, you know, know. Yeah. yeah, you know you will cherish that person. She's the one. <laughs> if there's somebody calling me out, she's, she's the, one. the one. Okay, or he in some cases it can be he's the one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mm, mean, he totally, or she, yeah. whichever. Okay. Mm. Yeah, your best friend can be anyone. You're thinking. Yeah, mm. it could be your spouse also. Like for me, it's like. You know, my my hubby has been a lot of times more best friend than <laughs> yeah, of course. hubby. Of course. And yeah, I mean, of course, we, are, we love each other on that extent, but we are mm. also there for each other on times when things don't go right. But <laughs> my, my question comes that when I'm quarreling with him, right, I cannot be like, can you switch to best friend mode now? <laughs> <laughs> and I, I just need to talk to the, the best friend in you. <laughs> Change put channel. Your, put Where's your the remote controller? <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, you just switch to your best friend now. Uh, uh, we're not talking about you. Uh. <laughs> I wish I could do that. But I can't. So I need to find... Change channel. I need to find the person to tell that person, Hiya, you won't believe what happened to me. Ah. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, mm, we, we really hope that mean. this uh, encouragement for everybody mm. who are listening in and thank you for, you know, listening in until yes. this point. Really, you know, you are really a true and true. Ooh, episode, <laughs> episode 13, that's about Three months, eh? Yeah. Oh, that's... Yeah, that's about three months. We started in... Wow. August? We started in August? Yes. Wow. 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 Let's give ourselves a round of applause. Da, 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 da. <laughs> Yay. Yay. And we can kink clang about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And really, la. Week by week without fail, right? That we were recording all this and really our motivation is for the listeners, like for mm, you. Of course, definitely. Yeah. And and using our own really raw and vulnerable side to share the story. I, I hope that it will touch your lives and you know, help with whatever tools that, that we were sharing 
throughout all the episodes and mm-hmm. the future episodes. Yeah. Mm, we're all about mm-hmm. helping ourselves and helping the people around us. So, yeah. So we hope that you can you can learn something from us or yeah. or you can you can even use our tools to teach others or you can yeah. share with others. Mm. Mm. Yeah, or like if your best friend <laughs> yes. has similar experiences and you want her to feel a bit better, yeah, don't mind sharing the podcast with them. Mm. Yeah. I mean, yes. we definitely don't hope that such things fall into them but you know like oh no no no, no no i mean it's more like a social topic <laughs> like a social, yeah, social gathering topic, topic. Uh, mm. like oh hey the other day i heard this in- interesting podcast you know like when i share with noel some interesting podcast mm, you know? mm, yeah yeah and if you're listening to us on apple podcast please mm-hmm. do leave us a review and a like a rating yes right so it it will let us know that we are doing a good job and do let us know what are the ways or the things that you want us to improve on. Mm. It can be technical stuff. It can be social stuff. It can be things we talk about. You know, mm. anything. Yes. Just sound it out to us. We are open to feedback and yes. we are definitely open to all your appreciation and, you know, your your feelings after listening mm. to each episode. Yes, we would love to listen to that. Yeah, we really, mm. really want to know if what we are doing, it really helps you. And mm. if it did, yeah, let, let us know, like, just give us a high five. Mm. <laughs> Do enough. <laughs> high five. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, <laughs> this two, part one, part two. Yes. Of episode 12. Shall we call it that? <laughs> We shall decide and then yeah we'll label it accordingly. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, and we'll see you next week in our next episode. Okay. Bye bye. Bye bye.